back to Drooper Plays. I'm here to react to A.G. Onuma's 10 minutes of gameplay for Tears of the Kingdom. I am so stoked for this day. We've seen little bits and glimpses over the, over the years, just drip feed information, and now we get to sit down and watch some actual gameplay. This video is 13 minutes, 47 seconds. I'm going to react to it all. This is my live reaction, and then we're going to come back at the end of it and unpack what we've seen. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm <am> shaking. <laughs> here we go. Okay, let me set this up and okay hello everyone oh my i'm ag aonuma Hi, AG. producer of the legend of zelda series nice to see you again first i have some news development on the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom is now complete music thank you very much for waiting dude the music many of you are looking forward to this game and we've released a few trailers so far Yep. Although it'll just be a brief glimpse, I'm going to actually play the game for you all today <laughs> and show so you what it's like. Okay? Let's begin. Oh my. Here we are in the land of Hyrule. Like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, there's a vast world to explore. Of course, it's not just the same world as is, it's changed in many ways. If we talk about all of the changes today, we'll run out of time, so we hope you'll seek them out for yourself when the game launches. <laughs> Very similar. In this game, the vast world of Hyrule reaches high into the sky. You'll notice some land masses floating up there. We call them Sky Islands. You're probably wondering something. How do you get to the Sky Islands when they're so high up? Yes. If we take a look, oh, something's falling from the sky. Do you see it? I wonder what that is. Let's head over to it. Go to that green spiral instead. <laughs> We're almost at the spot where the object fell. Here it is. Okay, let's use one of Link's new abilities. If you do this on the rock that just fell... Look, it started rising. That's this power awesome. is known as Recall, which rewinds an object's movement. Recall. Since I just used Recall on the fallen rock, I can now rise into the sky. We're a lot closer to the Sky Islands. Let's use the paraglider to reach one of them. Oh, man. There are a few other Sky Islands floating here, too. How do you get to those? I can't believe we're actually seeing this. I made it. There are lots of ways to reach the Sky Islands, so we hope you'll try a few different methods. Okay, now we're on a slightly bigger Sky Island. other ways to get there. Just like on the surface, there are several man-made structures. Some trees are also growing here. You won't see many of those yellow trees on the surface, though. Yeah. Let's walk around for a bit. There's a branch on the ground. When you find something like this, you should pick it up. It might come in handy later. Let's continue. Dude, his bow is sweet. Oh, something's there. What? This is a brand new enemy called a construct. We'll fight it using the branch we just picked up. <laughs> ah, Bring back the branch broke. Again. Not good, not good. Quick, get another branch and... We defeated it. What is that thing? Soldier construct. Moving on. Zonai, did you We've see that? We've now explored more of this sky island. <laughs> Zonai confirmed. As expected, fighting with just a branch won't get us very far. Also, this branch is almost broken. So here's another one of Link's new abilities. If we use this branch and the rock over here and do this, look, we can stick them together. What? We created a makeshift hammer. This is called Fuse. You can stick objects together to create new weapons with various effects. What? Let's take on another construct with this fused weapon. That is insane. We're dealing with two of them at once. Oh, we beat one. The weapon's attack has definitely improved. 
The other branch broke, but this weapon has much better durability. You can do all sorts of things by experimenting with the fuse ability. You can fuse two weapons, for example. If we take this long stick and fuse it with a pitchfork, we can create a weapon with a much longer attack range. It's so long. With this, we what? don't have to get too close to enemies, and we can safely attack from a distance. That is... That's you can awesome. also fuse arrows with materials in your inventory. Oh my. For instance, try fusing this leaf to an arrow. Oh, well, look at the UI change. What? Fuse an ice elemental material to an arrow and... You can freeze far away enemies. That is a game changer. Very useful. In addition, that's a game changer. Hmm. Right there. Let's see. Ah, there's a bird flying around. If you're out hunting, you might feel that aiming with an arrow is too difficult. Apparently, my eyes can't track fast moving objects as of late, so my shots rarely land. <laughs> so, at times like these, it'd be amazing if you hit it anyway. <laughs> here's an eyeball you can get by defeating monsters. Fuse it to an arrow and. Look, it homed in on the target. Whoa! It can Let's see try it. this on another <laughs> so bird. Cool. Did you see that? I'll you just can fire in that general direction. That's very simple. Depending on what you stick together, the fuse ability could also be beneficial for hunting. I fused a mushroom to my shield. Okay. Now you're probably wondering if this has any use. Well, this mushroom is actually a puff shroom. Let's fight an enemy with this. I blocked with the shield. Okay, there's smoke now. Dude. The enemies <laughs> lost sight of Link, so... If you combine that with an arrow, attack. you can create, like, smoke... Even if you struggle with arrows. combat, you can take down enemies using similar methods. It's gonna change In the everything, previous guys. game, you'd usually get Stealth, powerful weapons combat. by defeating strong enemies. But in this game, fusing even the weakest weapon with something else could turn it into a useful weapon. There are even more gameplay options for sticking things together. Let me demonstrate. <laughs> Some of the Sky Islands even have rivers. Crayonics? We'll want to cross <laughs> this one, but swimming across it, well, the river's too wide for that. We need a boat. Don't. Of course, there isn't anything that resembles a boat around here. So, we'll lift up this log and attach it to a second log. Let's do one more. Oh my. We'll bring this over here and attach a third log. It's a makeshift raft. Yeah, it is. This is another new ability called Ultra Hand. Even though the logs are currently attached, they can be detached. Let's modify the shape of the raft. You can always attach things or detach them like this. Now, if we put this on the water, it's made of wood, so the buoyancy will keep it afloat. We've made a simplified version of a boat. However, it won't move in its current state, so we'll need something to propel it forward. Propeller there, behind hmm. you. There's something here. Let's try hitting it. Oh, wind. It's got a little battery it's blowing on wind. It. Looks like we found a fan. Why don't we try attaching it? And it recharges. That's amazing. We'll attach another one. <laughs> this should make the boat well balanced. The time this takes, though, is a little concerning, maybe. Okay, they're attached. I mean, I realize he's All taking right, time let's to try explain moving the boat. It, but... Hey, it's moving. That is awesome. It's you sailing pretty fast with the wind steering? from the fans. Since we added two fans, we should be able to cross the river in no time. All right, we reached the other side. In the most recent trailer, we showed scenes of Link riding a large car and a flying machine. Yeah. Those vehicles actually aren't in the game from the start. Instead, you'll be able to freely craft them on your own. 
There are all sorts of objects you'll come across in this game. And depending on how you use your imagination, you can do a lot with them. So try crafting different things and explore this world at your leisure. Wow. There are even more new abilities. Take this building over here. Okay, watch this. What is that? Look, I passed right through the ceiling. <laughs> this new ability is called Ascend. Ascend. If you're in a place with a ceiling, you can go through okay. to the floor above you. That's awesome. There are some restrictions, but what's great about this ability is that as long as there's a ceiling, you can use it anywhere. There's a cave going it. <laughs> For example, this place has a cave with a hill right above it. Oh. If we use the ability here... What is that? That's not an enemy. Come on! Keep going! What? Okay, we emerged at the top of the hill. In the previous game, you had to use stamina to climb a mountain. But in this game, if there's a mountain with a cave like this one, you can now get to the top without having to climb all the way up. Really Here's another example. Imagine you're stuck in a cage. If it's got a ceiling, you know what to do, right? <laughs> exactly. Oh, there's another construct. It seems to be holding a strange weapon. <laughs> Some enemies are equipped with fused weapons, so battles will play out a bit differently from the previous game. Yeah. Ah, it blew me away with wind. Looks like it's got some sort of fan. Ah, I got pushed off. Oh. Ah, well, let's just return to the surface. You can quickly descend from the sky to the surface like this. It feels so good. In the sky, you'll be able to look out across the land. Look at that. You can also search for destinations that pique your interest. Once you've chosen your destination, you can speed things up like this. Let's dive into this river. And we're back on the surface. Oh, I thought it was gonna go underwater. <laughs> There are still so many things I'd like to show you, but let's leave it at that for now. Is it over? It went by so fast. What did you think? That was awesome. Some of Link's new abilities were updated from the previous game. I'm sure some of you watching me play were thinking, wait, if you could do that, then maybe you could do this too. In this game, you can do a lot of things just by thinking about what's even possible. There's still a lot of new gameplay, mysteries, and encounters we couldn't show today, but they're all jam-packed into this unfamiliar Hyrule, and we hope you'll use your imagination to explore it. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Wow. like another minute or so here. There it is. <laughs> it's the OLED. That looks so cool. Switch OLED model, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Edition, coming out April 28th. Oh, the Pro Controller! Okay, I might have to get that, actually. Games rated. Nope, okay. Well, anyway, that about does it for that video. That was insane. Uh, there's a lot, my, my, my brain is unreeling. Uh, a lot to unpack there. Um, I, I knew we were not going to get anything remotely related to um, the story or anything like that, but it was really nice to see going up from the surface uh, and then back down just to see how that would play in real time. 
I loved learning about the Link's, Link's new abilities with his arm. That was something that needed to be addressed, and I'm really glad that they did that. Uh, we learned about a handful of new abilities, um, things that really change up how you're going to approach every situation, with, whether it be traversal or combat or stealth, and a lot more creativity uh, as what was the main thing that I think stood out to me. So I'm really, really excited about that, really excited to see, just I was really excited to see the game in action. Um, it looks very similar. The surface world was still very the same that we remember from Breath of the Wild, although there was parts of it that I really wished he would have gone to. Um, th like there was, he was in the, um, it looked like the Dueling Peaks region. I could have been wrong, I could be wrong, but there was like little areas that had different, different looks to it, different things happening that I wanted him to go to, but he didn't do that. And then on the way up using Recall, there was one of those green spiral areas that I really wanted him to go see, but I think that's going to be a big um, secret for now. So um, it's possible those things could be shrines or warp points to another world, maybe. Uh, no underwater confirmed. That was not one of the features shown off, and it may it, it might not be a feature shown off. It, I guess there's a small chance that it could be, but I doubt that we'll see it. Um, it looks like the sky is the main thing. There are caves, which is really cool. We didn't get to see a bunch of ga cave gameplay. I figured we wouldn't. Um, it, it, it was going to be more focused on all the new stuff in the sky, and that's the things that they want us to focus on right now. So, um, guys, this is exactly what I needed to see. I don't. I'm glad that I'm still very going going in blind on this game. It, I'm glad that it's a, a huge mystery still. Um, but man, man, it just it looked really cool. It looked like they had some a lot of improvements to the UI. It looked like uh, I'll be interested to see just how the flow of gameplay is. Um, but what do you guys think about all this? I, I need to watch this more. So I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. Uh, let me know if I missed something. Uh, if there was something like, did, Drew, did you spot that? Let me know about that in the comment section below. Um, leave me a like if you enjoyed this video at any point. And if you're finding me for the first time, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Uh, I do lots of Zelda content on this channel, so you guys want to be here for that. I'm currently playing Breath of the Wild right now in preparation for Tears of the Kingdom, and I'm streaming that. So uh, stick around on the channel for that, and um, I will see you guys in the next one. Happy gaming, everybody.